So your thyroid and your fertility. Over the last three days, I've had three different coaching calls with three new fertility clients. And all of them told me about different fertility treatments that they went through with their fertility doctors when their TSH, which is your thyroid stimulating hormone, was not properly checked. So all of these women went through fertility treatments with their TSH or their thyroid hormone being far off from what it should be. So typically your TSH when you're trying to conceive should be between a one and a two. That is the most ideal situation. And if you are in the midst of trying to conceive and having some challenges or in the midst of doing fertility treatments, you need to be your own advocate and you need to urge your doctors to check your TSH levels and it needs to be between a one and a two. Oftentimes your thyroid is off when you're trying to conceive and it's not happening. And it's a very easy fix. It's something that your doctors can and should be checking. And for some reason, it's often overlooked. It's extremely frustrating to me as a practitioner who wants nothing more than her clients to achieve a healthy, lasting pregnancy. And so when I meet these clients and, you know, for instance, the one I spoke with earlier today told me that her doctors did an IVF transfer and she got pregnant and the baby stopped growing at eight weeks and it turns out that her TSH before transfer was close to a four. At that point, the doctors should have never done the transfer on her. They should have actually medicated her, gotten her TSH back down into a one to two range and then done the transfer. And who knows if she would have miscarried either way. We didn't get genetic results on the embryo, so we're not sure if it was a genetic reason or if it was for an unknown reason. But either way, that transfer should have never occurred. In my opinion, she should go back to the clinic and get her money back because the doctor knows clear well that the TSH should be between a one and a two. But I'm not here to, to talk bad about doctors because there's tens, tons of good ones out there and sometimes things get overlooked. I'm sure there are times that I overlook things in my own clinic. You know, we all can get too busy, but that is why it, it really falls on you guys to be your own advocate. You have to make sure that your thyroid hormone is checked and the TSH needs to be between a one and a two for pregnancy, for fertility treatments. And in addition, if you are currently trying to conceive and you're not getting pregnant, in addition to getting just your TSH checked, you should get a complete thyroid panel and find out whether or not you have thyroid antibodies. So those are specific tests that you have to ask your doctor to do. You have to almost demand it. You say, I would like my thyroid antibodies checked. And that tells us whether or not you have an autoimmune response going on in your body, meaning that your body is attacking, attacking its own thyroid gland. If that's the case, then that sets us down a different path for treatments for you namely that you really need to go gluten and dairy free 100 percent and there are are several other things that whether you have just tsh is off or you also have thyroid antibodies all of this i go over in my book yes you can get pregnant i work with women all the time dealing with their fertility challenges and helping them overcome their challenges so that they can get and stay pregnant and really my work is to get you as healthy as you can be so that you can then go on to have a healthy pregnancy and bring a healthy baby into a healthy, happy home. So just remember, if you're trying to get pregnant, that thyroid is really, really important. So please have it checked. Your TSH should be between a one and a two, no higher, no lower, and get those thyroid antibodies checked. You can email me if you have any questions, amy at amyraup.com. For more information on how to work with me, you can go to amyraup.com or check out my latest book, Yes, You Can Get Pregnant, Natural Ways to Improve Your Fertility Now and Into Your 40s. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Welcome to the Yes, You Can Get Pregnant community. I wanted to personally welcome you and thank you so much for joining this community. 
it is my hope that you will find support and positivity and empowerment from other women in this private Facebook group. I will be engaging with all of you and answering questions, offering advice, sharing recipes, sharing clinical successes, and I hope that you will engage with one another and share stories. It is my mission that this be a positive, empowering experience. So if there is too much negative talk or too much use of the I word, infertility, I will mediate and get us to shift our thinking. We do not use the I word here. There is no infertility. You are not broken. You are healthy. You are fertile. Perhaps you just have some kinks in your system and I am here to help you work through those kinks. I am here to offer you a supportive environment where you can learn to love your body again, where you can learn to believe in your body again, because I truly believe that you have the power to change your health and improve your fertility. And I hope this Yes You Can Get Pregnant private community helps you get there. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I am here. Just post in this group. Thank you so much. Sending you tons and tons of love.